First, quitsies, no startsies. What's wrong with doing chop edits? Today we'll be talking about all the fall preparation that I've been doing over the past half a month. Everything that I've done outside in my yard and inside. Stay tuned. Got some mail from the man himself, Jeremy, of the greener lawn. Don't take offense to the of. The of is necessary. I thought he sent him to me upside down. That would be something the Lawn Rebel would do. Send him to you upside down. This one comes to me from Paul's Prime Cuts. Yeah. Funny thing is, is that he sent me four of them. He did give me other instructions to share with a certain somebody, but when they're this sweet, I don't know about that, Brett. Thanks, guys. Way too cold this morning. Way too cold. So the way that I do this is I walk around my yard and I actually have the app on my phone from the Ratio and I just keep it pumping over there. I turn off each zone. I wait about a minute and a half so that it pressurizes itself up and then I just kick on the next zone.
Make her green. On Halloween. <laughs> As my neighbor just said behind the camera, which is great, make her green on Halloween. It's a good one. I'll keep it, Tom. in this carpet. When it comes down to the end of the season, when you're doing your winter fall care, when you're doing your cleanup, when you're doing everything that you need to in your lawn, there's a lot of steps that you have to take. I've done mine over a couple of weeks. It hasn't been all at one time. I took my lawn mowing down during Halloween, cleaned up my flower beds, winterized my sprinkling system. So as you're out on your lawn, you need to be checking out and seeing what you need to fix what you need to take care of in the next year. There's a couple of spots in my lawn that I really need to address. They're the areas that will show themselves at this time of year. We've had several cold days where it's gotten down into the 20s. So we've had hard freezes and they haven't been very great for the lawn, but putting it into that winter dormancy, I can tell where I need to address the next year, where they're really struggling by the grates, by the lamppost, on the edges of the park strips, where the sprinklers are only on one side. The other grate isn't doing too bad. The edging, 
and where all that excavator has driven. It's not extremely horrible, but it's not on point at this point in time. You should be looking at those spots that are struggling in your yard, seeing where they are at, making notes so that when it comes to spring we can address them. I'm going to be making note of those areas in my yard that I want to address and I'll be taking care of them. It's a great time to do that. So with those projects inside the house, they were on the honeydew list. We've been taking care of them over the past month since the weather's gotten bad. There are things that have been lingering that need to be taken care of since we built the house that we knew that we were going to be taking care of. So my question for you guys this week, what should I be doing for my lawn channel during the winter? What would you guys like to see? I have some projects, they're small, but I don't have very many projects to keep me busy. That's why since the meetup with John Perry, Connor Ward, and the Ginger, I haven't really had much. I've just kind of taken all my content and put it all together in this video. Let me know. I'd love to know what you guys would like to see. I'd like to put out content that you guys want to know about. I don't have a problem if I don't know how to do it, figuring it out. I'm Jeremy of the Greener Lawn, Maker Green.